How's it going, everybody? Smoking cigars with Houghton Blind Buddy Slim. That's me. And as, a, as I always like to give tribute to my hero, my all time idol, my favorite blues guy, my favorite radio disc jockey, and funny, funniest, the funniest man in the world, Mr. Gary Burbank, who is the original Houghton Blind Buddy Slim. Smoking today, and I've already taken the band off of it. It's a St. Louis Ray, Siri G, number six, or it might even be called the 60, because it's a 60 ring gauge. This is the Maduro. This thing has been sitting in my humidor for over a month, getting perfect. Oh, yes. Oh, I love smoking a good cigar. A good cigar like this costs about, oh, roughly about $6, $6.50 at your local tobacconist shop. You know, the one, if you're in the Louisville, Kentucky area, Jeffersonville, New Albany, uh, go to Creamer Smoke Shop, 401. East Jefferson, corner of Preston and Jefferson. You can get these for about six fifty a stick. But you know, if some people had their way, this six dollar cigar would cost nine dollars or ten dollars or possibly even more. Let me show you what I'm talking about. See that? It says S chip. I can't remember now what the uh, what that is the uh, acronym for, but if you go on YouTube and you type in S chip, and that may be how you found this, you type in S chip or cigar tax, you'll find out what I'm talking about. But I've got a four part video. I believe this is going to be a four parter to explain this and break it down. We're being told by the government, by the health Nazis, that cigarettes are killing people and we need to raise the tax on cigarettes to make people stop smoking but that is not the true agenda the true agenda is to raise money off the backs of people who are dying now admittedly the chemicals in cigarettes are bad for you like I said in an earlier video I don't think that causes cancer that's uh, there's things that, that will cause your cancerous cells to activate and taking those chemicals into your body might be one of them. I don't believe smoking a cigar is going to give me throat cancer or lung cancer or anything like that. You know, there's people who, I don't want to get the whole cancer thing right now. But here's the bottom line. I am not a George Bush supporter. I am a registered Republican, but I don't back everything up that Republicans do. I don't back up everything the Democrats do. What I like to do is say, okay, I like his ideas, and I like his ideas. I don't like his idea on this. No one politician nor no one uh, political party has all the correct answers. With that being said, this S-chip thing, is being turned into a political issue. What S-CHIP is, is a government program to pay for health insurance for uninsured kids. The question is, should the government pay for health insurance for uninsured kids? A lot of people get it mixed up and they say, without this program, Kids will die because they can't get good health care or they can't get health care. Now, contrary to what Michael Moore says in his movie Sicko, America has the best health care in the world. You have people coming to this country from all over the world to go to our medical schools to learn what a doctor needs to know on how to treat someone. Health care is when you have a problem, you go see a doctor, and the doctor diagnoses your problem after an examination or whatever he does, tells you what the problem is or what he thinks the problem is, and gives you a prescription or something to follow to get well. That's health care. A very good friend of mine who is a nurse, her name is Rhonda, 
works with kids every day. Some of these kids don't have health insurance, but they get damn good health care. So for all you people out there who are saying that by vetoing the S-chip bill means that George Bush and the Republicans want little kids to die, you're full of bullshit, and my New Year's resolution is for, 19, for 2009, I will not tolerate bullshit anymore. I'll call it bullshit if it is. I don't care which side of the party you're on. Democrat, Republican, whatever your agenda is. I can't remember her name. I think it's Mad Lowe is her name. Uh, and look her up. You'll see her on Keith Olbermann uh, talking about this S-chip thing. Now, what, what Bush opposed was expanding the program to cover more kids because to pay for it, see, everything has to be paid for. Nothing is free in this country. People on welfare who get a welfare check, that money has to come from somewhere. It comes from people like me and probably you and those guys over there. All you middle class people who are out working your ass off, that's where the money comes from for welfare. So anything free is, is not really free. It has to be paid for. The way they wanted to pay for this expansion of the S-chip program was a new tax on cigarettes and a new tax on cigars up to $3.00. Right now, there's a five-cent cap federal tax on cigars. Some states have uh, different caps on their cigarettes. Some states, it's 37 cents. Some states, it's 50. The state of Kentucky wants to make it a dollar on cigarettes, just a tax on, do uh, on cigarette tax. That's not counting what else would be added if that S-chip thing had passed. So basically, and I say this uh, uh, with a, a sort of tongue-in-cheek, but it's basically true. The people who want smokers to pay for their kids' health care, I mean health insurance, want, you to, want, want these smokers to die because how else are they going to raise enough money to pay for the insurance than for someone, a smoker, to buy more cigars, to buy more cigarettes, and pay more taxes. I saw a video on here, and you'll see it if you type in S-chip. Nurses and, and doctors in the streets saying that this plan, this, this uh, passing this bill, or vetoing this bill, was the wrong thing to do. These kids need good health care. And, and I want to I want to change that right now. You get good health care if you have no insurance whatsoever. You go to the doctor's office or you go to the emergency room. You can get good health care in this country. Figuring out how to pay it is a total different thing. That's why health insurance was created. 